Are you concerned your nine or 10 year old may have dyslexia? It's a great idea to find out now because the earlier you catch it, the easier it is to treat. Catching it early prevents other problems that would occur if it was missed. So great job on being an aware parent. Hi, I'm Samantha from Learning Success and we made this video to help parents catch dyslexia early. Formalized dyslexia testing is simply not available for most people. And when it is, it's extremely expensive. We're working to fix that. We want to make this information available to all parents who need it. Will you help us with that by hitting the like and subscribe button below? Thanks. We appreciate that. Let's get to the test. I'm going to ask you a series of yes or no questions. For every yes answer, I want you to add one to your score. At the end, we'll add that up and that will give you a better idea if your child has dyslexia. If needed, I'll point you to a free resource to get an even more detailed report. Question number one. Does your child seem intelligent, but is struggling in some subjects in school? Number two, does your child have slow or inaccurate reading? Number three, is your child awkward when reading out loud? Number four, does your child avoid reading out loud? Number five, does your child struggle with word problems? Number six, does your child have long pauses when speaking? Number seven, does your child have trouble remembering instructions? Number eight, does your child confuse words that sound alike, like tornado and volcano? Number nine, does your child confuse or skip smaller connector words like for, of, that, an, or if when they're reading out loud? Number 10, does your child have difficulty sounding out new words? Number 11, does your child have trouble with sight words? These are words like said, where, and to. Number 12, does your child hesitate to think of words or to answer questions? Number 13, does your child have difficulty explaining what happened in a story or answer questions about key details of that story? Number 14. Does your child frequently write B's instead of D's, M's instead of W's, or P's instead of Q's or G's? Number 15. Does your child have inconsistent spelling, spelling the same word differently at different times? Number 16. Does your child avoid reading? Number 17. Does your child get frustrated or upset when they're reading? Number 18, does your child get headaches or stomach aches when reading? Number 19, does your child have difficulty remembering names? Number 20, does your child have difficulty remembering dates? Number 21, does your child skip parts of words when reading? Number 22, does your child substitute words when reading aloud, like house instead of home, especially simpler words for more complicated words, such as car for automobile, Number 23, does your child guess at words when they're reading? Number 24, does your child have messy handwriting? Number 25, does homework take too long? Number 26, does your child have a deep fear of reading out loud? Number 27, does your child ever express that they feel stupid? Okay, what's your score? If your score adds up to three or more, then there is a possibility of dyslexia or something related. It doesn't mean it's dyslexia, just that you should dig a little deeper. Here's how to do that. We've created a free deep dive dyslexia screener for you. Fill it out and then it will send you a free report. That report will help you understand what type of dyslexia is likely. It will help you find the specific areas where your child is having trouble and also give you suggestions on how to fix them. The link is in the description and it's totally free. We promise it will help you and your child. So jump down to the description, click the link, and do that screener now.